how does White win in this position? So right now, if you take a look at the board, it looks like the first thing you would do is trade off the pieces because White's rook is pretty much trapped in the corner. But if you do that, it's just going to result in a draw. So how do you win? You don't take this pawn. That's, that's going to result in you losing. Crazy move. Rook a8. A full sacrifice of a rook. And the thing is that he can't take back. Let's say he doesn't take back. If he doesn't take back, then it's going to result in Black losing both of his rooks, and he's going to lose. But let's see if he does take. Seems like the obvious move, but it's even worse. Rook takes a8, because there's four spin and five. Because then you do rook c1. And now look at this. It's forcing the black king into the corner. The black king gets no other moves until here. And Now most people would think, well, I move it here. And now, maiden one. But then he can make an escape route, a6. So how does white win? It's a completely crazy move. A6 from white. Sacrificing the pawn. It seems like you're opening an escape route for black, but it's not. Because then after king d7, who's stopping white from going to rook b1? Black can't do anything. It does absolutely, he can't do anything. No matter what he does, he loses. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have an amazing day.